What's up guys, it's Matt Sokol from Average Dude TV and today we're gonna be talking about something that I'm super stoked for That's why I'm talking like this Supreme Fall Winter 18 baby The season is among us We've all been waiting since last season In my opinion I was a little bit disappointed by last season And I'm excited for the new season So if you don't know, today August 16th was the in-person, in-store release uh, there was nothing online, and the next Thursday, all the items that they dropped in person today are going to be online, and they do this every year um, just to kind of, I guess, get the hype started a little bit. So I'm excited. First week, they're known for not doing any collabs, but dropping, like, a lot of pretty decent items, and this year, that's what they did. So let's go over the items here. Great website, the website I use to see all the upcoming stuff and gauge hype. SupremeCommunity.com, I'm not affiliated with them, I use them. I'm gonna plug them, I suggest you use them as well. Best in the game. And let's go over the list here. So I'm gonna go kinda in order of hype, and the way I'm doing this is based on how many thumbs up these items have on Supreme Community. So the number one hype item is gonna be the Madonna tee, which I actually think it's, it's a dope tee. I totally like it. And at first glance, I was like, oh shit, they're dropping like another one of these kind of famous people tees because you know, they've done it in the past. They did it with Nas, they did it with um, Gucci Mane, they did it with a bunch of other people. I'm not gonna list them all right now, but if you know the Gucci Mane tee, I mean, that's going for like dead stock. That's going for four or 500. And I'm like, dude, this Madonna tee, um, yeah, she's a little bit, I guess, older than like Gucci Mane, but that's, that's pretty dope. And if you guys don't know, at this point, I am a reseller, so I'm gonna try to give you my opinion and then also like a resale gauge on it. Listen, if there's something I really like that fits my style, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna wear it, but I'm not one of those hype beasts that are just gonna cop shit for the clout. Like, I, I like clout, don't get me wrong, but if I don't actually genuinely like it, I'm not gonna buy it. Feel me? All right, let's continue. So, Madonna T is great, that's gonna be 48 bucks on StockX. They're going for like in the 200s right now. Honestly, guys, I think that's low. I think this should this tee should be going for three, four hundred. Of course, I don't get to make the the market prices, but I do think it's low. If you get cop one thing and you're a reseller and you want to make the most money, go for the Madonna tee. The next thing which I'm I think is pretty dope is the Supreme Mofi pack. So in the past they dropped the Mofi like portable chargers. And those were okay. They didn't do great resale. I mean, it's just a portable charger. It wasn't anything crazy. But here, they're actually dropping like the phone cases. So I think that's dope. That's gonna be 128 bucks. They're doing it for the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Obviously, guys, the red colorway is doper and gonna go for more money resale. And personally, like if I if I had it, which I don't really like these cases on my phone, they're a little bit bulky, but the red colorway is nicer. Moving on, you got the liquid T. Uh, which is gonna retail for 36. Um, pretty basic and straightforward. Like it says Supreme, and it's just the font is like liquid, like a silver kind of color. That's actually that's actually nice. I like it. It's like a simple sleek shirt. It's nothing like crazy. I mean, some of their shirts are just like ridiculous. I mean, it's nice. It's basic. Yeah. They're, so they're dropping that in like a couple different colorways. I think white is probably clean. Black's probably clean as well. And then guys, let's move on to something I'm super super excited for: the bag, baby. They're dropping more bags, thank God. I know what you guys are thinking. The resale price on Supreme bags from this past season, the year before, it's getting out of hand. I mean, even from last season, the waist bags are going for 250, the backpacks are going for 250, and I'm pissed because I copped a bunch of different things and I sold it right away to make 30 bucks and I could have held it and doubled my money. But also, I've been thinking, you know what, man? I think you might you might need to cop a shoulder bag or a fanny pack for yourself just just to have. I think it would be dope. So they're dropping a couple different bags here. They're dropping a backpack. They're dropping a shoulder bag. They're dropping a waist bag, a utility bag, which is kind of like a travel toiletry type bag, which is like see-through on the sides. And they're also dropping a duffel. So first with the backpack, and just so you know, the color. Colors are dropping are gonna be the same on all of these different bags. So it's gonna be black, red, yellow, and purple. Yellow and purple are interesting colors. Personally, I think the purple is a dope color. And if I didn't cop it in red, I would probably go for purple of whatever I'm getting. So the backpacks are nice. I mean, it's a basic Supreme backpack. I can't really comment much on it just because of that fact. 
Um, it's a nice backpack. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. It's it's similar to like this pack packs they've dropped in the past. Um, they're estimating that the the retail on that's going to be 158. Now let's go to the shoulder bag. Retail 74. Last season they dropped the shoulder bag, but it was like not the same style as this one. This one looks, in my opinion, to be like a little bit bigger, a little bit more like wider, rectangular shaped as opposed to being square. I'm, I'm going for a red or a purple one for myself on the shoulder bag because I prefer them over the waist bag, which is next. A waist bag is a fanny pack, guys. So the retail on the fanny pack is going to be $88. Now, I am not a big fan of this design on the fanny pack because it, as you guys can see, like, they're almost like like circular like they're too circular for me like they're like this and you want your fit like I don't know how to explain it like they look like this and you want it to be like a little bit wider I don't know it just looks kind of like a circle to me it's a little bit weird looking in my opinion let me know what you think about that guys and let me know what you think about all of these items by commenting down below and make sure to smash that subscribe button so you can see more videos vlogs supreme drops Yeezy drops Nike this, that, and the other guy. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, baby. Then the next thing, which is pretty dope, it's a dope accessory, is a diamond plate toolbox. That's gonna be going for 128 bucks. Uh, practical use, not really. Decorative item, yeah. It's more practical as just like a holder for like random stuff as opposed to like actual tools. But if you could cop it at retail for 130, I mean, it's, you know, it's solid metal, it's pretty durable. So it'd be a nice case, you know, to just pit random shit I don't know your clout in it just put your clout right in the supreme case or maybe you just you use it as a lunch box and you just walk around and you just clown on everybody with your clout anyway guys following that you have another tea which is the still life tea it's called and it's food it peaches maybe it looks like there's just kind of peaches on it, it says supreme at the top is it bad no it's not a bad shirt is it good no and that's how I feel about the still life tee. On to the next one. Classic script hooded sweatshirt. This is a nice one. Obviously, their hoodies are, are always hype. This one kind of fell down the list a little bit just because of the font. So it's supreme, as you can see here. And it's in like a script. Cursive. It's a little bit slanted almost. You can still see it says supreme. I think it's nice. They're doing, what is that? Eight colorways on it. 168 retail. This is going to have resale on it. Resale for Supreme last season was hurting a little bit, so you might see resale in like the 250s, 300 on this, maybe even more. They're dropping it in their classic red colorway, guys. So, I mean, obviously, you're gonna wanna go for that one. I'm looking at it right now. It looks pretty nice. I would wear it. It's not like in your face or anything like that. And their sweatshirts are nice. They're dropping a leather anorak for $698. Anorak is like a kind of winter rain jacket type thing, but the only issue, like, it's leather, so that's why it's 700. I mean, it's nice, but it's not 700 nice, and uh, there might not be resale on it. I mean, the ca the camo one is pretty dope, so there might be resale on that colorway, but 700 is a lot. Then you got the utility bag, as I mentioned, 58. I mean, that's cool. That's something that's more like privately in your house um, or traveling. So for $58 for a utility bag. I mean, I'm going to cop it for the resale, but for myself, I'm not going to use it. And then they're dropping this 1994 long sleeve tee, which I actually like. Again, it's another basic kind of design. It says Supreme in a box. It says Supreme since 1994 in a little box on the front and on the sleeve. It says Supreme again. That's nice. That's only going to be 40 bucks, so definitely affordable on that one. They're restocking the boxers, which, by the way, guys, if you're a reseller, always cop the boxers, the tees, and the socks. Because eventually they sell out mid-season before they restock them, and you're able to get more money, and that's just a fact. <laughs> that's how I feel about that. Then they're doing another accessory, Supreme Thermo Stainless King Food Jar and Spoon for 40 bucks, that's a cool accessory. I mean, some of these accessories, like are you gonna use them? Are they for display? Both, I don't know. This is more for display in my opinion, not very practical, but it is pretty cool. Then they're dropping a bottle cap tee for 36, which is just a bottle cap that says Supreme on it. Very small, very subtle. Looks like you're almost wearing a plain shirt because it's so small. Then they're dropping the duffel bags, which look the same as the duffel bags from last season. That's pretty nice. Um, I had a black duffel. I sat on it for a while. There wasn't much resale on it. Uh, on the red, there's going to be resale. 
Or if you just want a duffel bag for yourself and you've been looking to cop one of these without paying like resale, definitely go for it. I'll probably uh, honestly go for a red or purple one myself. And then they're dropping this ballpoint pen and pencil set for 72 bucks. It's hard, it's some, some of this stuff, it's like, how do I give my opinion on it? It's a freaking pen and a pencil for 72 bucks. So it's like, cool, will there be resale on it? Probably not, most of these like accessories like that, there's not much resale on. And then speaking of another weird accessory, they have, oh, ac oh ooh, ooh, I actually didn't see this originally. A Supreme Tag Heuer Pocket Pro Stopwatch. So it's a Supreme Stopwatch, but it's not only Supreme, it is a collaboration with Tag Heuer. If you don't know Tag Heuer, they're a very well-known watch company. They're not like a, a Rolex or a Hublot or a Petit Philippe, but they're like a high-end watch company, watches that are in the thousands of dollars. And that's gonna be $270, which obviously is just a ridiculous price for a stopwatch, but it's Tag Heuer Supreme. That's interesting. I don't know about resale on it, but it's definitely an interesting item. I wonder if that means that there's possible that there's a legit Tag Heuer like watch collab coming. That would be nuts. Then you got a split crew neck sweatshirt, which is like half one color, half another color. I mean, it, some people that looks fire on and some people you just look like an idiot. It's like, why is your shirt like that? So. For me, I probably look like an idiot on that, so I'm probably gonna pass. And then they have their Scatter Ringer tee, which I actually think is cool. Maybe I could rock that in one of the colorways, but it literally is just a tee and it says Supreme in like different directions all over it. From a distance, it almost looks like just a shirt with a bunch of different sprinkles on it. And then, um, wow, they got so much stuff on this drop. They got so much stuff, I don't even think I've gone through a third of it yet. So I'm just gonna go through the rest real quick and tell you my favorites. They're dropping a bunch of tees. A lot of the tees are fire. They're only 36 bucks. I recommend if you have the opportunity to cop any of the tees, cop them. If you don't like them for yourself, you can resell them and there'll be some resale on all of these tees. There's always resale on these tees that go on sale for 36. So definitely go for them. They're dropping probably like eight different tees. They're dropping a skateboard. They're dropping a beanie. Something I think is cool that probably won't sell out is their Panther Gold Pennant because it's 398 bucks and their pennants never sell out because they're just too expensive. But I think it's dope. If you're looking for a pennant, I would cop it. It's just like a little panther on a chain. I think it's it's pretty sick, honestly. Anyway, they also have a keychain, a couple skateboards, a pin, a pillbox, a bunch of pants, ashtray, some skateboarding stuff, more pants, more hats, some garbage hats, some good ones. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it overall. I'm pretty excited. The lookbook itself looked very promising. Who the fuck keeps calling? Holy shit. It's a fourth time in a row. I'm trying to make a video. I'm trying to make a video about clout. Anyway, that's pretty much my thoughts on the season. Again, that drop is happening Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I probably will be doing a live cop, which means I'm gonna be live streaming it on YouTube. So get in on that with me. Make sure you click that subscribe button. You know what? Smash that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Follow us on Twitter at Average Dude TV. All right, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.